Hey guys, in this video I'm talking about how you can support pathological demand avoidance all that is coming up and we're going to go through it right now. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD and dyslexia and I'm making weekly videos all about this stuff. So if you do not want to miss a video and learn more, make sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking that notification bell down below. And if you're watching on Facebook and Instagram, be sure to follow this page for daily videos. Oh yes. Guys, this video is sponsored by Soundsory Headphones. Soundsory Headphones is a multi-sensory music therapy and movement program. The Soundsory Headphones equipped with a dynamic filter and bone conduction technology helps improve motor skills and cognitive development in children with autism. This is super awesome. The program consists of a specially designed music processed with neuroacoustic modifications as well as a series of movement based exercises. It is a 40 day program divided into two sections of 20 days each with a break of one month in between and each day consists of 30 minutes of music and exercise. I've tried this guys, it's super awesome and it is highly effective. It's a very interesting piece of technology. Soundtree helps improve fine and gross motor skills and visual motor skills in children like handwriting and drawing, balance and posture, hand-eye coordination too. Building on these foundation skills, Soundtree improves emotional regulation, social skills and communication. This is pretty awesome. There's a nine hour battery time and there's exercise videos on their website. But you can also use the headphones as just like normal headphones. You can connect it to your iPhone or your iPad or whatever. So these things are absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend checking out Soundstory right now. Link is in the description down below. So Soundstory have a 20% off of their website right now and you can actually get a further 10% off using my code, which is AspieWorld10. All the links and the code is in the description down below. So grab yourself a discount and a bargain right now and check it out. Okay, on with the video. Guys, what is going on? Pathological demand avoidance. Wow, I actually have a diagnosis of pathological demand avoidance as well as my autism spectrum disorder diagnosis. Whew, I went up with something bizarre to say. But I wanted to lay out five ways that you can really help identify or spot pathological demand avoidance. This is maybe in yourself or in somebody you know, but I think it's really important. Let's get going in this video right now. Buckle up. Let's do it. Okay, so the first one is noticing that you know, you may do something one day, but then refuse to do that same thing the day after. Um, well, there'll be no reason for it, you know? So pathological demand avoidance has a constant change in mood and activity within the person. So, you know, you may be happy to perform one task one day, but then the next day you're not gonna do it. This is a full hallmark of someone who has pathological demand avoidance and definitely something that should not be missed if you're trying to look out for this in somebody. Okay, so number two is masking. So, um, Masking in public may be something that they do on a regular basis. So basically, you know, due to social anxiety and social skills issues, a person with pathological demand avoidance and autism, because they kind of come comorbidly, like fit in each other, will have uh, a masking procedure when they're out in public situations. Like everything will be fine and I'm cool and I'm good, but inside they're absolutely just freaking out. And this may come out and, you know, when they get home, they may just completely break down. So it's always good to spot if you think somebody is acting kind of like not themselves and putting on a bit of a, a front and they have the other issues along with pathological demand avoidance, then maybe it's the condition, you know, showing itself through masking. Okay, number three is that they may be obsessed with certain people. Now, uh, a PDA person may get completely obsessed with a special special interest or even still a specific person, like they could be interested in a celebrity or it could be one of their friends or somebody they know. This is really interesting because autism comes with that special interest where you want to, you know, really uh, divulge into a subject and get obsessed with it. But a lot of the time with PDA, people get obsessed with people, which is really interesting and fascinating and one of the ways you can spot PDA in people. Okay, so number four is appearing highly anxious. Now, most uh, neurological conditions uh, PDA comes with have lots of anxiety because anxiety is kind of like this byproduct of having this collision between uh, PDA and autism or, or PDA and social anxiety or whatever, you know, but it, because it comes comorbid, um, anxiety always just spits itself out. So you may notice that the person is constantly highly anxious. This again is a hallmark of PDA. If you're going through and categorizing them in this list, then you're going, well, this is a, you know, this person ticks off every box or I tick off every box. Basically, this is it's very, very common in PDA. Okay, so number five is appears like Jekyll and Hyde. And what I mean by this is because of the issues with controlling moods and feelings and all that kind of stuff, a person with PDA may appear to have two different personalities. You know, the happy-go-lucky guy, but then also the reclusive kind of like, I need intense time on my own in the dark to rock and listen to, you know, emo music by a candlelight. 
I don't know, I'll give you a mental picture here. Emotional, damn it! You know, so uh, knowing someone who has this kind of like up and down Jekyll and Hyde personality, who may also be anxious or obsessed with people and have like, you know, issues with socializing and refusing to do something that they did the day before, this is definitely something of a person with PDA, which is pathological demand avoidance syndrome, and definitely worth uh, seeking some therapy for this because it can be helped, not cured because it's neurological, but it can definitely be helped. Okay guys, if you found this entertaining, please share this video on social media and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.